everybody, it's Louisa here, and I have another project to share for you. I have altered a Dollar Tree handheld mirror, or it's called a vanity mirror, actually. And I got this from the Dollar Tree, as I said. It's just a plastic, cheap dollar um, vanity mirror. And it does have a mirror here, and... You know, it's a handheld, and I've been wanting to alter one of these. I have three, or had three. I already altered one. Um, I just didn't know what to do with it. Um, I know I've seen people do like shabby chic, and they've uh, just simply, you know, put flowers on it or wrapped it with lace. But I didn't want to do that. I really wanted to show off the design that's on here. Which doesn't look like much on this piece, but when um, I did what I did to it, I really loved the way it came out. So what I did with it is I painted all the plastic in an acrylic black, which is just regular black paint from Apple Barrel. That's what I have. It's just a, an acrylic paint. You know, it doesn't matter. I didn't gesso it or anything. I just put one coat of that, but a thick coat. Um, I literally just squirted my bottle on here and started brushing it on all over. Let one side dry, and then I did the other side. And I didn't tape anything onto the mirror. I just carefully went along the edge, and you know, just try not to get on the, on the glass. And, you know, I just did that, and then I did my sides, let it dry really well. And then I took some um, rub and buff. Uh, yeah, this one here, the Autumn Gold, which I hadn't used this in a really long time since I was introduced to Inca Gold. But Inca Gold doesn't have, or I don't have uh, this color in Inca Gold if it does exist. So I usually buy it at, is it going to zoom in? There we go, Autumn Gold. And I usually buy my Inca Golds from Joann's, so I'm, I haven't seen this kind of color in that, but I'm sure they have it. And I also use a little bit of Inca Gold in the Old Silver, just for a little bit of highlights. So, and I have these post-its on here, so you'll get a glare since my screen is right in front of me, and you know, you're going to see whatever is there. So let me show you the back first. And yes, this is a steampunk. I did not want to do shabby chic. I sort of um, needed a break from shabby chic and decided to go with steampunk. And um, I really like the way it came out. So as you can see, the difference of this plastic silver looking thing to this that looks like real metal now I love it and you see all the details of all the little swirls and all the whatever these little things are I love it and to get that effect was again I just painted it black first and then I rubbed on a lot of the autumn gold and then at the end, I lightly rubbed on some of the silvers just to give it some highlights. And it just looks amazing. And I did not have to add anything more to this because it looked really cool just like that. I could have just left it as a handheld, which I might just do a separate one this way and just leave it. You know, and maybe put it in my bathroom without any... Um, um, embellishments because it just looks so cool just like this okay so then <clears throat> what I did do after the fact after I had colored it I actually went and put a hole in it because I wanted to hang it and it doesn't have a hole up here and I took a chance and broke out my um whoops I'm gonna do that my crop crop dial and I actually was able to make a hole with the um, smaller one, which is a 1 8 punch. I just carefully 
place this in here into one of the thinnest parts, which I don't know if you can even tell. See how it has ridges? So in between the ridges would be like a thinner part. So I just placed this and kind of, you know, moved it around until and pulled this down a little bit until I saw where it was going to punch and slowly started pushing down with some pressure and then went all the way through and it punched out perfectly. So, you know, I carefully did that, making sure I wasn't going to break my crop of dolls. Like, I don't want to break it, but, I mean, I, I, I felt how this is soft, and I said, it's got to go through. And it did. So, I did that, and I was able to add this thick chain, or big, it's got big links on it. I actually used one of the links to go through my hole, and then added my chain. And did that to it so you can hang it as you saw in the pictures it was hanging so that worked out perfectly I chipped a little bit of the paint off here but that's okay so then on the front I decided to add all the embellishments and I will take this out for a little bit just so you can see it and when I get closer then I'll put the sticker back on so you can see that I'm recording that. <laughs> anyway, so there it is. There's the front. And I did add a couple of pieces of chain. So let me stick this back on so I can show you better. We'll start from the handle, the top part. You already saw this chain here. And what I added was uh, a filigree metal butterfly that somebody had given to me. Let's see here. And on top of that, I added a metal bow, which is a bead landing piece. I had gotten this on, um, I guess I got this at Michael's. I don't remember. But it's a little assortment of metal bows. There we go. And there, some of them are dimensional, but this one was um, a little bit flatter. And what I did was um, attach my black chain to one of the holes of the butterfly's wings, and it went down to a gear down here. So let me go down now. Okay, so then I started layering these large metal leaves and there's one back where you go right here peeking through um, those are for butterbee scraps and I actually they look like this but I did rub on some of that autumn gold on there to change up the color a little bit you can still see the original color underneath. So that was my base. And what I did is I did that just to give it a little, extend the size of my um, mirror so that I can layer on some more stuff and, you know, come out a little bit. So that's a you know, little tip there. And up here and down here is a little, like, swirly thing that's, um, it's got a little bling in there as well. It was silver. And I rubbed on some of the autumn gold. That comes from, um, I picked them up at Michael's a while back. They're Jolie's brand. Okay, and then, then I layered some gears. And these three here, and these two, and then this one here. I think those are also bead landing. It was like a big pack of over 90 something of them. And what I like about these is that they're flat. And there's different colors and different shapes. So being that they're flat, they're not so heavy. So I just used some of those. I didn't color them or anything. I left them as is. And then this one is different. Um, I don't remember the brand, but it actually has a little bling in there. I know I picked them up at Joann's. So then I created this 
flower here that used to be a black um, this is actually from spare parts and Leanne had given this to me in a swap so they're fabric flowers or silk flowers that were black and I took a a brush and you can see right here this is where I was squeezing out my autumn gold and I just started dabbing into my um, rub and buff and I brushed on the color onto my silk uh, petals and then layered three different ones and added this gorgeous bling that I picked up at Michael's so that's how that flower looks and then I added this metal flower here which comes from this pack from Momenta and the uh, Lydia gave this to me in a little surprise um, rack so I used one of those I actually you see it's kind of flat I actually bent the lead the petals up so it would be a little more you know cupped um, because I wanted to add underneath some flowers which these are paper flowers one of them is a wild orchid craft and then the other two were given to me I think it was Kelly that gave me this little um, bunch of black flowers which I still need to get more black flowers so oh and I did um, use that old silver was it old yeah it was old silver on those black flowers just to bring more of the metal look on there and then I uh, added this oh there's another gear I forgot about I added this little wind up thingy from Tim Holtz I can't remember what those are called but you know what they are so then over here I added this metal flower that someone gave me it had a little place to hang something so then I added this little zipper pull that somebody else gave me and it actually says treasures on there which is perfect and I attached the chain to that and let it hang down past the bottom and I attached it to this which this is another piece it was actually loose I had it um, attached here but it kept flipping around on me so I just um, Put a little bit of glue on there just to keep it still but down here i added this piece and the chain and this is another piece that somebody gave to me a lot of things that people give to me and unfortunately i can't remember who but i do appreciate all that i'm sure they were in some kind of doodad bags so i think that's about it and that's how it looks and you saw the pictures earlier but actually my favorite part is how that looks so I might just do one without all the embellishments just to um, like lay on on my in my bathroom all right so that's it for today I haven't been doing much lately work is really keeping me tired and hard to um, get motivated to do anything. Tomorrow I'll probably be cleaning so I won't even get a chance to make anything probably. So alright thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye now.